In this lesson, I want to talk about setup settings. Now here we're in demo mode, and the little lightning bolt up at the top is an auto setup setting. And when you click that, the system will attempt to set the most optimal settings for you to view this. Now the problem that I've run into is with the demo mode, it doesn't seem to really work well. As you can see, it's jumping all across the screen. So that's not really the most ideal setting. Now if I change it down to 20 milliseconds per division and I click Auto Setup, we actually got it to stay at 20 milliseconds per division. If I go to 200 milliseconds per division, and once again click Auto Setup, it now jumped it down to 5 milliseconds per division. And if I come over here and I choose 1 millisecond per division, and I hit Auto Setup again, now it jumps to 20 milliseconds. So I'm not getting consistent readings, and I'm not sure if that is because I'm in demo mode. Here I'm going to use a simulator that gives me a square waveform. Now if I click on Auto Setup here, it has moved me to 50 milliseconds per division. The voltage is still set to Auto. Now if I come over here and I set this to say 20 volts, and I now hit Auto Setup, it will switch it back to 10 volts, which is ideal. If I come over here and I choose something like 2 milliseconds per division, and I hit Auto Setup again, it goes back to 50 milliseconds. And one more time, if I come over here and choose 500 milliseconds per division, and I hit Auto Setup, once again we go back to 50 milliseconds per division. So with an actual pattern and not in demo mode, it seems to be a little bit more reliable. Now if you're having problems with Auto Setup, or you just like to have your own setup, a good general rule, if you want to start out, is to start, it's called the 2020 rule. You start out with plus or minus 20 volts, and you start out with 20 milliseconds per division. Once you're at this, you can now get some sort of a pattern, and you can decide if you need to see more or less of that pattern and change your voltage and time base. Now for me, I usually like to start out at 200 milliseconds per division. I tend to want to look at a bigger picture and then zoom in later. I can now see that my voltage value is a little bit above 5 volts and less than 10. So I can come down and choose a 10 volt range and get a more accurate pattern. Now I could even come down and possibly try a 5 volt range. Now I see that I'm getting an over channel range so I know 5 volts is too low of a setting. So 10 volts would be the ideal setting. My next idea would be how much detail do I want on this pattern? Do I want to see a lot of patterns on there and look for an inconsistency by looking at it this form? Or do I want to get a real close up and use a trigger to get a real close picture of this pattern? Maybe my goal is to see possibly three or four patterns on the screen in which case I might want to choose a 20 milliseconds per division and I can use my trigger or if I take the trigger off then you'll be in free run mode as I jump across the screen. So now here's something that's pretty cool. If you do like to start off with 200 milliseconds per division and you want to make sure that you can read a 12 volt signal so you're going to come up here and choose a 20 volt signal you can now make that your starting default position. If I come up under the file menu and I go to startup settings, I can save the startup settings. So I can save the user default settings, I can save the settings as, or I can reset the default. So if I do save user default settings, it will now open up with these two settings. One other setting that I didn't mention that I like to have is I like to have my setting at 1 million samples across the screen or 1 million samples in the buffer. If I exit and then restart my PicoScope, you will see that I will be starting out with 20 volts plus or minus 200 milliseconds 
and 1 million samples. If I take this down to say 500,000 samples across the screen, but I want to choose only 100 milliseconds per division, then I can save this setup. Save user default settings. Once again, I can come over here and exit and then restart. And you can see it saved my new settings 500,000 samples across the screen, 100 milliseconds per division, and plus or minus 20 volts. Now, if you get this all screwed up, just come on over to the file menu, go to save startup settings, and then you can reset the user default settings. And I'll close and restart. Here you will notice that it has gone back to auto, 5 milliseconds per division, and 1 million samples across my screen. Something else that's really cool, let's say you decided that the best settings to do a throttle positioning sensor is to set it to 5 volts and you want 500 milliseconds of sweep time. Then you can go ahead and you can collect your TPS settings, and that's what you like to use. Come up to File, go to Save Startup Settings, and do a Save As. Now you can simply name this TPS Settings and save that. Now, if I come over and change this to my 2020 settings, and we want to measure my TPS, and as you can see what would happen here if I start to do my TPS on these settings, is that the voltage just kind of does this, and you can't even see it. Now, if I come up and I do File, Open, I can choose TPS settings, say Open, it'll reset everything, and now I can measure my TPS without having to remember the settings I used last time.